And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, for part two of the police station mock. And we will be doing the interiors of Accenture Tower, which is the uh, eight-story building next to the police head or the police station. And uh, as you can see, I already have all the floors and stuff off. Here's the top of Accenture Tower, and then there's the rest of it right there. So yeah. And then down here on the first floor, we have a arm an armory which, as you can see, has a soldier standing outside and steel doors because, obviously, it's an armory. It has to be pretty well defended and stuff in case of an escape. And then there's a great floor right there. It's, I mean, the floor is not actually great. It, I mean, like, it's a great floor. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But um, there is a barrel of uh, crowbars. Then there we have just a random sack. Don't know why I put that there. There's a uh, there's an axe and a um, flashlight in a box. Down there we have just a random uh, barrel of gas. And here we have a uh, shotgun and a smaller gun. I don't really know what I could call that. And sorry if the lighting isn't too great. Um, there we, what, can I, what gun is that? I can't, oh, oh yeah, it's just a little rifle right there. And then right here we have actually two RPGs that are custom made. Um, uh, do I wanna, no, I'm not gonna take one off to show you guys. And then there's like a walkie talkie. And then, oh yeah, there's another gun right there. I guess it's a tranquilizer gun. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the armory. This is one of my favorite rooms. Actually, this is my favorite room in the uh, police station, or the Accenture Tower. It originally was called Jail Tower, but I decided for LEGO series reasons, when, uh, whenever I get around to making it, um, I'm naming this Accenture Tower. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I just really like this just because of how, like, well, for one, it's closed off. Two, it's at the very bottom of the building, close to the basement. And um, the way it's, like, built. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's bars right there. So, yeah, I really, this is my favorite floor just because of uh, that reason. Wait, are those bars? No, that's a, that's a great thing. Um, so, yeah, I am going to, uh, give me a second. I am going to put the next floor on so that way I can show you guys the interior this, this is gonna be I'm gonna be doing this quite often in this video so bear with me uh, I think it's on there give me one second all right so for the second floor we have like I said just a couple of jail cells and uh, there we have three criminals in there, another three criminals in there, and um, yeah, they're just basic jail cells with colorful walls and crap, and this one actually has bullet holes on it, so yeah. But uh, as I did say in part one, I've um, implemented uh, escape mechanisms, and as you can see right here, I have two plates that are older parts that can just be pushed down that's on both sides so I'm gonna take this off and then as you can see they can just drop out into the armory and for some reason I put a crowbar in there I don't know why I did that um, but yeah they can just drop down into the armory get all the weapons they want and uh, escape which I guess isn't good but uh, and I guess that makes me an evil person to the city of Brooksburg. But, uh, you know, whatever. It's my city. I do what I want. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this floor. Now, I guess, onto the third floor. And then there's the staircase going up to the third floor. So, once again, give me a minute. And I will show you guys the... Uh, th fudge. I knocked over a barrier. Um, one more second. Uh, yeah. Put that right there. Hopefully it doesn't 
fall. Oh, it's trying to fall. Okay. <sighs> Sorry about the weight. Anyways, third, yeah, third floor. Um, here we have the large jail cell, and there are five robbers in it. I have way too many crooks from the police sets. It's not funny. And I actually have way more than this. Like, I have two in the police station itself. And, like, another three around here somewhere. But, yeah, there is, uh, just a basic jail cell. It's kind of styled like a dungeon. Which, uh, I got these parts from the, uh, from one of the kingdom sets when they were out. And, uh, then there's, like, the keypad and stuff to, like, let them out. And, uh, as I did say on the third floor as well, there is an escape mechanism, which is actually right there. All you have to do is, like, punch it out and stuff. I'm not gonna do that now, but you can see where, like, it's being held up and whatnot. Um, and the reason why I decided to make this just a single jail cell is, one, I didn't have enough doors, or, uh, jail cell doors to make the, uh, to make it two parts. Plus, I decided to have this one side just like that because of the fourth floor, which has a ladder going to it, which I showed you guys in part one, which I will show you guys again here in a second. But, uh, another reason is because in case I get more robbers and stuff in future sets that I might get, so that way I can finally have a place to store them, um, compared to the way the original set was, which was just awful and can only fit like two crooks in it. So yeah, a uh, nice big jail cell and they're all stuffed in there and probably more to come eventually in the future. So I'm gonna okay, stay on there, put my phone down again, and fudge, I just keep knocking stuff over. All right, so I will, uh, actually, let me leave that out. And I think it's fully on there now. And I also made it pretty easy for these floors to like, come on and off the buildings or off the other floors. So yeah, here we have the um, police academy, which there's the ladder that drops down. There's a couple of uh, students right here. Hang on, what? Oh, he has the normal like, face on it. Um, there's five chairs. There's a SWAT officer right there. There's actually another one right there. And then here we have the teacher right there. And then there we have a wanted poster and stuff. But yeah, this is the police academy where recruits come to, like, do their classes and stuff to become a cop and stuff. I keep saying stuff way too much. Um, but I decided to add this because I thought, you know what, maybe I should have, like, a police academy or something. So, yeah, that's why there's, like, a window there and then the ladder drops down. So, yeah, not really all too much. And then it says police on the side. Um, and as you can also see, like, the building kind of, like, starts to slant this way, which now takes me to the last removable, removable floor, but not the last one that I'm going to show you guys, which the floor, well, it did originally, I did originally decide to have it, like, go another stud this way, but then I decided to make it flat this way because it's the, it's another wide floor, so now this hangs off this way. To, I guess, kind of even out the tower. And then up here we have a car window. I actually just built this yesterday. Um, because I decided to make a bunch of different changes to it. So here we have, like, a giant open window. And then a small window there. Television. A bed. Um, there's a dog. A couple of chairs. A futuristic kind of computer thing. Which I might actually get rid of this white bit down here and just have the uh, screen part to have it like maybe as a hologram computer. Um, and then here we have a little like kitchen area and a pie. 
And then here we have another giant open window. And uh, compared to these floors, it kind of looks weird because it's the floor is square. And uh, oh yeah, there's another like window thing up there or an arch. But uh, yeah, not really all too much. But this is the CEO of Accenture Enterprises, a, um, a little apartment thing, because he works up in this tower. Or yeah, um, I think it. Yeah, I think it's on there. Maybe. So, yeah, and then the rest of the building is basically. Just the uh, Avengers Tower bit. But uh, I am still going to show you guys. Um, well, here's a look on the outside. Uh, there is where the security droids sit. And then, yes, the nin droids are there from Ninjago. They're basically turned good for this. So, yeah, this is the uh, CEO's um, building. And, oh, duh, I forgot that I added these on top to like, keep it together. I'm such an idiot. Put this down there. So I was wondering why I wasn't opening. So down here we have like a little medical bay. Not really sure all what it's for. I might actually get rid of it and add like a workshop thing or move this down. And then down here we have a fire extinguisher and then where the droids sit. And the windows like do pop out because that's like part of the mechanism that came with the set and the window lowers and stuff so yeah droids are there up here we have the scepter analysis chamber or whatever it's called and uh computer and then here we have where um originally in the set like iron man or actually ultron was being built here it's like a little workshop thing where armor is built and then finally up here we have general cryptor on the uh uh, hologram computers which wrap completely around and uh, he actually works for a cent a center um, enterprises and uh, is like the main security thing and yeah and there we have a little couch thing uh, another one with a wine glass that extends all the way out here onto the balcony and uh, this comes up there's a couple of guns in there. Nothing all too special. Then uh, the balcony, another, I guess, table or something. Then there we have, that is the Avengers logo, I know, but it's now the logo for Accenture Enterprises. And then up here, we have the spire thing where there's a couple of uh, pew pews and then a drone that drops out and uh, it's like a security drone in case the tower's under attack or something. And then there's a couple of lights. And then the antenna itself. So, yeah, this part ended up longer than the first part. But I did pretty much cover every single little thing there is. Um, and uh, I didn't really do like that back area back there behind the statue because there's literally nothing back there. So, yeah, that is basically it for this mock video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment um, your suggestions for the next mock video that I, that I should do. Should I do Skyview Tower? And the lighting is absolutely awful right now. Um, uh, I'm not going to do the Apple Store because it's not done. But, uh, yeah, let me know what I should do in my next video. And, uh, yeah, um, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a like if you enjoyed, as I said, and I will see you guys later. Peggy Art Studios out.